My name is Roland Sands. Um, I'm a motorcycle builder, first and foremost, ex-motorcycle racer, and have a brand called RSD, which is Roland Sands Design. We build motorcycles, design motorcycle parts, and apparel. Started racing in 92, turned pro in like 94, and raced 250 Grand Prix bikes here in the United States. Raced over in Europe, England, in the British Super Cup Series. Also did the Spanish Open Ducato Series, and uh, had a pretty fun career. A lot of injuries, but also a lot of really fun rides, and just a great way to spend my 20s and early 30s. When I quit racing, I was totally depressed. I was just like completely bummed out, you know? Because I lost my identity at the time. I used to win and I'd get so amped. I was like, yeah, I won a national, it's insane. And I won this race and afterwards it didn't like do anything for me. And I was like, what the f was, What's going on with me? Like, you know, I, I really need to maybe stop and reassess what I'm doing. I kind of fell out of love with being a motorcycle racer. Yeah. At the time, I built a bike called Whiskey Tango, and it was really like my first custom bike I built. It turned out to be a really nice bike, and it had my style. It looked like a race Harley, you know? My last race was at Laguna Seca. I finished second um, in the National at Laguna, and the bike was there, and people like really dug on the bike. People were more stoked on my motorcycle than me finishing second in a National. It was a huge realization that that really meant something. I didn't think that it would take me to somewhere new. I didn't think it would help me create a brand. I didn't know it would give me a life beyond just being in the shop designing motorcycle parts. And that kind of just got me going. I was like, let's do something different. This seems like really a new way to do things. A new way, to, it's, it's a way that I can be an artist. It's a way that I can do what I've always done, which is sketch and draw and paint, and then apply it to something that actually we can sell, so. When it comes to like transitioning from racing into design, it actually happened pretty seamlessly. I was working with my dad and I was designing all the product at his company, which was Performance Machine. I was the VP of design there, so I was learning already how to do 3D design work and how to transfer my ideas from sketches into 3D. When I retired in 2002, I was kind of ready to start designing right away. We built the place like two and a half years ago and it's basically houses everything that we do all in one spot. You know, our apparel groups here, our hard parts groups here, we build bikes in the back. All the creative happens right here, and it happens with the team, so we have a really good team of people here. Whether it's a motorcycle build, apparel, or hard parts, it's like a collaborative effort. We just work together on everything. It's like we get a jacket in, and I try and put it on as many people as possible and ask everybody's opinion about what they think about it, because one person's gonna see something you don't see, you know? In the end, that diversity of opinion is what creates a good product. As far as inspiration goes, I really like to take things from different genres and put them together. I mean, I think it's like in music, if you look at music today, it's so fragmented and segmented, which I think is really cool because it brings new sounds, you know, that you've never heard before together and that always creates something unique and new. So I try and do the same with our bike builds, even with our apparel, motorcycle parts and everything. We've always built a real wide range of things. So I think if you look at the bike builds that we've done, it's like Harley, GSX-R1000, KTM, Harley, Sportster, Softail, maybe a bagger, then it's like a cafe racer, and then it's like a flat tracker, and it, it really is pretty random. If you look in our shop right now, you can see the different projects going on. It's pretty crazy, and I think that's pretty consistent for us. From the beginning, taking like my racing heritage and try to put that into my designs, it might not always be a part designed for a race motorcycle, but I kind of try and come from that direction, and it gives a certain aesthetic, which I think is pretty unique to us.